This is a story that I think is real important. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. And this story is to put most people, I don't want to just say females, I want to say males and females, on notice that it's really some sick tickets out here. And this story was one that really, really rocked my world because I don't, I just, I can imagine this happening, and I don't understand the purpose of this unless you really wanted to abduct someone. So there's a Texas woman who claims she was poisoned after touching a napkin that was wedged into her car handle um, of the car um, after celebrating her birthday at a restaurant. Erin Mills was celebrating her birthday on um August 16th, when she was poisoned by a napkin hanging on the door of her car of the Prospect Bar and Grill. See, now this is them using, uh, if not uh, marking, I'm looking at another way of a chemical warfare on us. Or wherever she went to have dinner at, somebody could have possibly uh, watched her or watched them. I'm just saying this is really weird. No one else from the restaurant seemed to complain of anything. The birthday girl says she uh, grabbed a napkin with her fingertips and tossed it to the side before rushing to go wash her hands, but later touched the door handle. And she wasn't thinking about, oh, I touched the handle. Within minutes, her fingers started tingling along with her whole arm before it went numb. And she was rushed to the hospital where doctors say she suffered from acute poisoning. The napkin may have been a failed kidnapping attempt, according to Mims' doctor. Yeah, and again, it also could be chemical warfare. Uh, this is insane. She came uh, with the video went viral as she explained the story on uh, Facebook. YouTube, I just know that she's a germaphobe, so she wouldn't have touched a napkin. She said, but after one margarita, she assumed maybe her husband put it there as a joke and immediately tossed it to the side with her fingertips. When my husband got off the phone, I asked him, did you put that napkin in my door? And he was like, no. Immediately, I started looking around for some hand sanitizer. I went inside, I washed my hands, and maybe like two minutes later, my fingertips started tingling. After five minutes, my whole arm started tingling, and then it went numb. I got lightheaded, and I felt like I couldn't breathe, and it got extremely, extremely hot. It was just a whole bunch of different feelings all at one time. So, of course, I started to panic. And, of course, you know, that set off a chain reaction. Uh... This is crazy for that to have happened to her. Her husband then called 911 and she was rushed to Houston Healthcare Hospital, where doctors later determined her vitals were not stable. I was there for about six and a half hours, Mim said, her eyes swelling with tears. The doctor said I had acute poisoning from an unknown substance. I didn't have enough of it in my system to determine what it was, but just that the little amount that I had really messed me up. So I just imagine if I had put my whole uh, hand on it, I probably would have been dead. The doctor said the poison napkin could have been a kidnapping attempt. Yeah, we can all speculate. What started out as a great day turned out to be one of the scariest moments of my life. 
Mim's birthday plans to go to the spa and enjoy a special dinner were ruined within a second. She, but she has warned others to be alert and if they notice anything similar, not to touch it. The Houston Police Department said that Mim's poisoning incident was the first they seen, but her symptoms aligned with various poisons. Damn. This is what they out here doing now? The probability is that you would have to have a lot more than just a casual exposure, a spokesperson told the New York Post. In her video, her symptoms match hundreds of different poisons. It is possible, and I've learned in my 40 years that anything is possible when it comes to the human body. This is insane. That is insane. I mean, really. Similarly to Mims, a Kentucky woman was hospitalized after she picked up a dollar bill she suspected was laced with fentanyl. Renee Parsons said that she was driving with her husband, Justin, and children through Nashville, Tennessee, when the family stopped at a local McDonald's to use the restroom. Renee was holding her three-month-old baby while waiting to use the restroom and she spotted a dollar bill on the ground. Thinking nothing of it, I reached to pick it up, she wrote on Facebook. Once the family got into the car, Renee began experiencing symptoms as she placed the dollar in the interior of the car. All of a sudden, I felt my shoulders and the feeling was going down my body real quickly and it wouldn't stop. Renee grabbed her husband's arm and her body suddenly went numb. She added, I could barely talk and I could barely breathe. I was fighting to stay awake as Justin was screaming at me to stay awake and trying to talk to 911 and find the closest fire station or hospital. I passed out before we arrived at the hospital, but thankfully they worked on me almost as quickly as my husband did get me there. She was later discharged by medical experts claiming it was an accidental overdose. Renee speculated the dollar was laced in fentanyl, but police said there was no traces of fentanyl on the bill. Well, what was it? What was it if it wasn't fentanyl? So as we can see, uh, people are resulting to because they're so sick and there's a lot of people that get off on watching people suffer you know it's all kinds out here and they definitely do need to be in the mental house because that right there this right here y'all be careful because this is planned this is directed and it's supremely diabolical y'all tell me what y'all think about this and I'll see you in the next video.